everybody. Welcome to Fight Night here on Moose Machine, or Fight Club as we call it. Um, we would normally have a death clock this week, uh, but Jason is off taking a test and is feeling a little bit ill after his test. So uh, we decided that <laughs> he we He must have seen his numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he uh, got an 87. Oh, nice. And he only needed a 65. So he's uh, he's pretty happy about that. Yeah. Um, so tonight what we're going to do is we're going to... George and I are going to play our two new lists we're both pretty excited about. Um, George is going to be playing a Zal 2 list. With um, the Supreme Guardian that yeah. is out but not... On the shelves, yeah. Yeah, and I will be playing my uh, uh, Sloan list <laughs> with Kane Zero because I have vowed to not play a list that does not involve Kane in some way, shape, or form. So we're both playing models that have been pre-released, basically. So you're telling me that if I want to ever play anything that isn't Kane... I'm going to have to build you like a cane objective just no, so no. that it's somewhere on the board. No, no. If you want to play anything that isn't cane, then you're going to have to play a different player. Ah, okay. <laughs> Actually, that's cane might be in everything, but cane zero, cane zero with, uh, with other jacks is still pretty good. Yes, he is not. He is not While bad. George gets set up, I will go through what I have in my list. Sloane, of course. Um, so Sloane, the main reason you take her is because she gives you all the extra shots. With Chargers and Hunters, that is pretty super good. Um, and so, <laughs> in direct reflection of that, um, we have a lot of Hunters and Chargers. So in this list are three Chargers um, and four Hunters. Uh, the reason I have four Hunters is because I could not fit in five. And I don't own a fifth. Uh, no, the reason I, I have Hunters in particular is because our meta is very, very high armor skew heavy. Mm -hmm. um, this particular list does not really care that much about your defense. It cares a lot about um, about armor cracking. And that's sort of the problem I've had of late is I can hit everything, but I can't crack armor. So Hunters Boy, can help solve that issue. Why is it going to suck when you hit up against a high death list? <laughs> um, I have. The, the, the reality is, is most of this list rolls three dice to hit. Ah, okay. And is either a rat seven or a rat six. So, yeah, it's I surprised uh, our one of our new players the other day because he thought putting his um, super high death thing in a trench was going to save him. It turns out a charger can still get past that. Um, it has Ace with Kane, uh, sorry, Kane Zero with Ace, I should say. Um, they have some pretty interesting shenanigans. I will probably forget to use most of those. Um, the biggest thing being that uh, they can port to each other. Um, so either Kane can move to where Ace is or Ace can move to where Kane is. Does that cost focus? Uh, yes, it's a, it's a spell. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, Ace can re uh, can remove uh, line, uh, line of sight blocking model. So um, he's got a camera, witch mark or whatever. And it's not witch mark. It's whatever the name of that. Uh, shadow fire. He's got shadow fire. So in a list that relies on being able to shoot the things that you need to shoot, um, Ace is kind of a clutch at making sure that we can get a line of sight on something. Don't you have two more of those? Nope. Oh, you didn't bring the add-ups? No, no, no. Um, there's no um, add-ups in this list. Uh, Minuteman um, is the final piece of her battle group. Um, and the Minuteman is there as basically a uh, close call infantry deterrent. And he also can hit pretty hard with his slug guns. Um, and he can get kind of in back lines and mess around with infantry. It's He's the, pretty good. Um, the AoE on him is 12 and then the... The the base to base is fourteen or something like that. Uh, no, the base to base is twelve. The a, the outside a of two inches is six. Oh, so, okay. Um, it's not crazy. I, I had it in my head. It was way harder it's hitting. Really good against single box infantry, particularly things like croaks and stuff like that. Yeah. You can kind of jump into the middle of them and usually wipe out most of a unit. Um, to buff out this list, uh, the free solos are Kane was one of the free solos because this is in uh, heavy metal. Uh, it has a squire because uh, Sloane loves a squire. It has uh, strange ways because we're going to be super focus starved in this list um, with this many jacks. So strange ways can a help fix a jack that we needed <laughs> to be up and running that 
may have had the snot beat out of him. Um, and uh, he can throw a focus around. And last but not least, uh, we've got Ayanna and Holt with uh, Captain Jonas Murdoch. And that's to make sure that they can kiss things. And when she kisses something that uh, Signar can actually take advantage of the kiss. Mm -hmm. They changed the, the kiss used to be that whatever she kissed, everybody could get plus two against it. Yep. Um, they've changed that. So now it's friendly faction. So the only way oh. around that is Jonas Murdoch. So that makes Murdoch a tax on them, really. In Signar. Yeah. It, well, I mean, in anybody who wants to yeah. use it. Like, yep. you have to use the, the, thing the is, whatever. Is, the thing is, I would never call Jonas a, a, um, a, tax. a tax because... He does stuff. Well, go to ground is super, super awesome. Oh, there is an objective. In yeah, this right list. in between the two. Okay. Or like right in the middle of right the... Right in the middle. Yeah. Um, so I'll take the repair objective. Yes. I, uh, yeah, because you don't have... The, you have incorporeal, but it's only on your own turn. That is correct. So I don't need to worry about incorporeal models. Yeah. The only time that I'm incorporeal is if I'm charging through something. Yeah. Or running through something. Running through something. So, um, yeah, I'll take the repair then. I don't need an extra magic weapon. Um, so yeah, the, I would never call Jonas. Uh, the other nice thing is, is that when they're stealthed, if you uh, stealth and go to ground, it's uh, <laughs> pretty much impossible to take out Ian and Holt at that point. It's pretty sweet. Um, he also grants assault, but that's all. It's, it's actually kind of cool with, um, with, uh, Holt. Assault mm -hmm. can, because then he'll get both of his shots and both of his oh, sword attacks. I should roll in the middle of the table. Which is kind of sweet. Um, I can't, th oh, and she's also there because she can give a, uh, she can give a um, magical weapon to stuff. So that's kind of sweet too. It's not going to be as important in this game, I don't think. Till George surprises me. <laughs> He's like, oh, yes, you can't hit any. Oh, I have a choir in this. I bet you what? didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I was so about to be very upset about something. <laughs> if you actually had a choir. If it was Mercs, I would. Um, so the reason why you take Chargers with Sloan is because on her feet turn, she's going to give three double boosted shots, which is pretty fucking awesome. Now, how does she get three double boosted is she going to fully fuel those guys? Uh, no, because um, with a charger, uh, you can spend one focus to boot. Uh, oh, it's just for the single attack. So yeah, yeah, yeah you have attack. to you have to fully you have to. Yeah, fully that's what I was going to say. And she does not have the no, focus you, to fully fuel them. No, and you need to make decisions. Yeah, you you need to make decisions on whether they're going to be doing that much. Because technically, the, these guys can take out on her feet turn can take out nine infantry quite mm -hmm. easily or they can to be honest with boosted attack and hit rolls they can often take out jacks too um they just do a lot of work yes um hunters they, the problem is is you really want to boost hunters a lot of the time too so it's a tough conundrum um yeah she doesn't need a lot of her own focus unless she's um standing in a really stupid spot which if I'm, if we're at the point where you're able to charge my caster, then the game was over anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so she really only ever needs to focus on her feet turn, um, and that's to boost the damage on her own roll. All right. Um, so I am playing Zoltu, um with all the immortals. Uh, I'm playing a Supreme Guardian, uh, which will be. The part of the Supreme Guardian tonight will be played by a base with the Supreme Guardian stats written on it. And I have to remember that it's there because <laughs> when it stands behind a building, I will forget that there is a base over there. <laughs> it's a pretty huge thing to uh, miss out on. Um, if I've got it behind a building, that's incredibly stupid because that means it's not doing anything and it's still getting shot. Mm -hmm. Unless true line of sight comes through and you just don't shoot at it. <laughs> um, so Zaltu, uh, his feat is plus five armor for constructs and heal D3 plus three, uh, or D3 plus three or D3 plus six. It's D A lot it's of damage. Uh, it's D uh, it's D6 like plus three. three. Yeah, so you'll maximum so, six per model. Yeah. 
Um, which won't matter for your matter for your single no, wood D6 infantry. No, D6 plus three, maximum nine. Oh, is it nine? Wow. So right, because it's three plus D6. Right, but the only model that's going to matter for is your const is your uh, Supreme engine. Guardian, uh, the caster, the oh, these the guys are ten boxes, and Hakar is ten boxes. So oh, it the could UA matter H on those models as oh, well. I didn't realize Hakar was also a construct. Yep. So a really easy way with my particular paint scheme, uh, black things are constructs, beige things are living. Um, gray things are also living. They're just unpainted. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that, that makes it easy. So uh, Zaltu, um, Hakar, both the Ancestral Guardians as well as all the Immortals are all construct. Mm -hmm. So they all get the armor bonus. Um, unfortunately, the UAs, <laughs> do not get the armor bonus. So they always have to be hiding behind something. Um, sometimes they still disappear, but hopefully they've done their job by then. Um, I will be running in, uh, oh, Immortals, uh, Slow as Sin, speed four. Fortunately, Resonance gives them plus two move. If one model in the unit is within uh, six inches, I think, of an Ancestral Guardian. Uh, resonance is, no, five inches, sorry. Um, so you just need one member of the unit within five inches of an ancestor. And that's one of their unit. powers, or is that just a... No, it's a power on him. It's called Resonance. Oh, I mean, but is it like a star action, or is no, it just... No, it's just a thing. You just get it all the time. Yeah. Um, so they go up to six? Uh, so, yeah, they go up to... No, they don't go to speed six. They get a plus two oh, move. Oh, they get a plus two move, okay. Uh, so they go from nine to 11, basically, yeah. for their threat range on a so, charge. So, yeah, they... Turn it up to 11. Yeah, they, so they can run for 12-inch threat or charge for 11-inch threat. Mm -hmm. Surprise, surprise, outside of turn one, you almost never run. Um, <laughs> because why? Uh, the um, Hakar, uh, when he has souls on him, uh, gets one plus one armor for every soul on him, and he can use his uh, souls to boost. Um, the Ancestral Guardians, uh, they... Uh, can have souls on them as well. Uh, their souls they can use to speed themselves up because they are also slow as sin. Um, and they can also be soul powered. They can also buy attacks and stuff. Um, same thing with the Ancestral Guardian, except it has one extra trick, which is res uh, put three immortals back into play. Uh, have to be grunts. Can't put the yeah. special guys back into play. Um, that's about it. He does have that range 10 gun as well as a three inch thresher melee. And he can use his souls to boost attacks. That's as correct. And if a car, or sorry, Zal casts his. Or a oh, no, one. because he's not a warrior model. He so he can't, model. he can't use. In fact, he is not even a mortal. So one of the cool things about Zal is that because you can, sp uh, you can soul stack with him and those souls become focus, he can then cast for two and allow his entire army or. An army within it's fourteen. It's actually an upkeep, so you cast at the beginning. Oh yeah, so his whole run. army can just pull focus off of him when you need it for those clutch hits. Yeah, he also has uh, vision, mm -hmm. uh, which allows something to just throw away one shot. Mm -hmm. um, also, uh, my anti-gun tech, since it will be appropriate for this list, um, I do have a Kraya. Mm -hmm. uh, everything within three inches of him uh, will get a plus two defense and armor if he puts up his aura. Um, I also do have a pair of brutes. They are both shield guards mm -hmm. um, as well as beasts. And they have... Um, Can we say George will be surrounding his ancestral guardian with <laughs> medium base protectors? So uh, they have intuition natively. So when an enemy model targets this model with an attack, the attack results in a hit. You can immediately force this model to cause the enemy to reroll the attack. Okay, so you have to force it though. So you yeah. Burn. So I have to leave him open. Yeah. Like I have to let leave them with mm -hmm. a, um, with a focus. Now they can't do that on a shield guard, mm -hmm. but they can do it to save themselves so that later on they're alive for a shield right. guard. Um, and their uh, animus or yeah, their animus is. Uh, safeguard. The spellcaster cannot be knocked down or stationary. It does not suffer collateral damage when slam and reduce the slam distance rolled by three. Okay. 
So basically, usually that's really great for putting on a war beast in front of your caster. Uh, sometimes it's really great for your caster if you're if the plan is to knock down the caster. caster. Like if you have Morgul or something. Yeah, you're not as big a deal yeah. with Zal, but And it's not as big a deal with this matchup either because I'm going to be hitting everything. Yeah. You're, you're more worried about me cracking your armor. Yeah. Than, than they are basically I'm not gonna hit everything. I shouldn't say I hit everything well, because it is my dice. <laughs> They're def eleven. So you're so, gonna have to work at the not hitting. Okay, so before we get started tonight, two rules that we are going to adhere by, so that you guys might be, uh, you might question why we do a few things. One of the things that we're going to do is we're going to be very open when we feel like somebody's made a very foolish error. So, yes. for example, if George literally just runs his army up and doesn't think about the fact that I can kill his caster top of two for whatever reason so say you you decide to be within six 22 inches of my entire army top of two um and you've left your caster pretty well open i'm going to mention to george <laughs> hey dude you might want to rethink your strategy there um and ex try to explain it and george is going to try to do the same for me and the reason why we're doing that is because these are new lists to us and there is no awesomeness about winning by just pure and utter failure yeah it's an open information game yeah now uh one thing if the other person wants to do that for some reason i'm like, not gonna like i'm not if, gonna convince them not to yeah but at but the same definitely time definitely warnings will be issued yeah just uh we we try to we're trying to make sure that these games are as friendly as possible secondly i'd like to uh, admit a failure um, you reminded me that chargers don't get to boost all of their attacks by spending one focus. They only get to do it per attack. So yep. I need to apologize to a couple of my opponents who have oh. been dealing with <laughs> chargers that were able to boost oh, all of their attacks. Oh my goodness. But it's not a big deal. It, I don't think that was super game changing. It might have. They might have. Uh, Matt, Matt won. Matt um, <laughs> won. And so it didn't really matter there. And um, the other game. I don't think it really came down to it in the end because uh, I was it's was Legion, so I was able to pretty much crack armor anyway. So yeah, it's um, it's per attack. So yeah. what you can do, you can load it up on, with three on uh, on Sloan's feet turn. You totally can load it with three, mm -hmm. and it can boost all three attacks. Yeah. But it better be the only thing who can make attacks that turn because otherwise, it's a really dumb thing to do. You've got much better attacks to be making well and and we'll 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 see how that all works out all right so first thing we got to do is we got to roll for who goes first i've rolled a one i will go first darn um i am trying to so just as a note i am trying to go first more often um interesting i uh, always the, the numbers say that people who go first win more yep uh <laughs> now here is the thing that i have Oh, uh, I, I get have. two extra, in extra inches of deployment, by the way, because ah. of... Uh, I don't get that with my theme. Um, though, an interesting thing is that with shooting lists, the, cur the common wisdom is to go second. Um, it, it depends, because you still have to set the line of scrimmage, right? And I find with this list, it really, if you can go first, um, it forces your opponent to play chicken. Uh... Dwingert, if you are the person I was talking to on Facebook earlier today, um, you can just look at the um, uh, the Twitch um, previously shot videos. I made sure to make a cut so you can take a look at the gear that we're using. And if anybody's interested, we'll also be posting that on uh, YouTube a little bit later on just as a quick... Uh, what gear um, are you guys using to stream games? It's probably our most commonly asked question, to be honest. Okay. Um, Other George, than what the fuck are you doing? George, that? while you finish doing that, I'm going to begin my setup. Go for it. Just because i got to get home at one point or another this evening. Um, everybody in my list has long leash, I believe. Everybody? No. Nope. Does a Minuteman have long leash? No. Nope. Minuteman's... No, he's got extended control range. Uh, chargers do not... Uh, chargers do not. That is correct. Ooh. Ace might? I don't know. He's based on the Hunter chassis, so he probably does, but... I'm not certain, because he's a character. 
The uh, Ace uh, is a good question. I the Hunter definitely does, and the Minuteman does. No, Ace does not have it. A- Ace does not have it. Ooh, that's kind of sadness for Sloan. Uh, or Sloan for, not Sloan uh, for uh, for Kane Zero. Kane Zero. No, I mean, he's supposed to be up there too, right? Like he's he's, yeah, up, he, he's, he's supposed to be up there doing work. So um, I sure would like him. Uh, didn't Hunters lose a D? Uh, yep. They yep. do not have AD, so the only uh, thing I have, the Minuteman has oh, okay. AD. The the Hunter lost AD in the in the Great Reckoning that was Mark III, and there was much wailing and gnashing of teeth. And then Hunters are still really good. So oh, yeah, they didn't stop being good or anything. Okay, <laughs> um, and that is... M- uh, we were on your clock. Uh, awesome. So let's, let's just... Um, not deploy on the clock? Not deploy on the clock. Okay. Um, I guess we're going up the middle here. Oh, um, the UAs are on the red and the blue unit. Uh, just because they don't have a color match. So there are three units. It's probably hard to tell on camera but their gems are different colors and they've got different colors on the back of their bases. Um, there's a green unit, a, a red unit, and a blue unit. In this case, the uh, red and blue units will have UAs, the green will not. So my biggest problem with this list is speed, both setup and play. Um, th- it all has vengeance. So what quite often happens is you lose um, if you if you've guessed right, and you can keep it within uh, like you can keep your losses down. You're probably sitting at about a. Um, a five to seven guy loss um, on uh, on the uh, third turn, but what that means is you're vengeancing with like 23 guys, so uh, that means that you, what you end up with is making double that amount of attacks. So 46 attacks burns the clock like it's nobody's business. Um, and that is a big thing you have to watch out for. Yeah, I'm y- actually I'm quite used to playing high model count armies, so I I tend to play very fast with high model count armies. But it is a it is a practice. Like you need to practice it over and over <laughs> and over and over. So blue over here, red over here, UA. Hakar, where are you going to go? Uh, put you over here because maybe you'll chase Iana and Holt around. Um, the the one other th- be benefit I get from my theme is that everybody who can have a soul in my army starts with one. Uh, so in that case, in this case, it is uh, Zul, Hakar, both ancestral guardians, the supreme guardian. And both of the UAs for the um, immortals. They're all soul collecting models. Um, I should mention that, uh, like, Signar, not real big on collecting souls, uh, but uh, Zal has Soul Director, which means that he chooses where souls go in his control area. Yeah, so you can you can stop your opponent from. Gathering all the souls. Well, even more important than that is you can route souls to models right. that would you can normally push it, you can push it to have your, gotten the soul. Yeah, you can push it to your guardian yeah. so that you can power up the things that need to be powered up. Exactly. All right, I have one AD. Yeah, I have none, so. Okay, it is this here minute, man. Okay. So once we once you're ready, go ahead and I slap my clock. 
You lost a second, so I'll burn oh, no. a second talking. <laughs> I have uh, no idea what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to, first off, hand out some focus, which I probably should have planned for in advance. Well, while I was while you jabbering were away, ma anyway. ma muttering, muttering, muttering on. I will probably lose on clock on this one, to be honest. That's or or just clock or annihilation. I would, I would not bet on my clock skills in this match. <laughs> as much as I would love to be confident in my clock skills, I am not. Um, I feel relatively comfortable with this army because I've been playing this or a variation of it since Mark II. Um, but there's a lot of little quirks that I never really got my head around. Well, um, I just, I and just models like the Supreme Guardian that are new. I just don't know the, um, I just don't know the army that well. Um, we are not going to be able to get any shots off this round. So, okay. Um, I don't need to hand out any more focus to anybody. So let's just see what we can do here. Okay, threat range on these guys n is n uh, normally 9, but you can bring it up to an 11, eh? Uh, normally, count on it being 11, because it's very rare for them not to be able to get resonance. Yep. Um, what what might give them the extra movement is the um, if you kill one of them and they get vengeance. Kay. That pushes that 11 to a 14. Um, oh, the and, uh, big guy moves, the big guy moves, how, uh, he's five, 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 and he's got a three inch, so he has uh, 11. an 11. So, <laughs> so pretty much everything in the army has an 11. You might notice a theme. <laughs> um, what's th is it 11 on these guys, too? Uh, they might be a little farther. They are speed six, uh, so nine, and I believe they have two inch halberds. Yeah. So, wait, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, they're eleven, too. I think it's relatively safe to say mm -hmm. that eleven is a good number. Yep. Okay. So eye. that Miniman's just going to go over there. Uh, he's actually just going to go back there a little bit. Ten inch gun, and you said your speed is four? Five. On the Ancestral Guardian, yeah. speed five. Okay. Fifteen inch shot. Um, Kane is going to go. He's just going to move to there. And then he's just going to camp his focus. Ace is going to go. Ace is going to run. I'm guessing Ace's speed is seven, six. Using a 12 inch stick here. So, your plan is to go home early. Why is that? Um, because you. Not not because I'm suddenly going to be able to kill you. Right. No, but because you are setting up for a very advanced position mm -hmm. where you're going to be able to attempt an assassination next turn. Either an assassination or kill a lot of things. If I stand back, then you're going to be able to just play chicken with me. So Not if I want to ever hurt you. True, but most people with a gun line, the first thing they do is if you don't come go forward, then they just go here. Mm. just out of my threat range, and then I'm like, okay, so next round I move up. This way, it's impossible for you to completely avoid my threat range. Yeah. You okay. can run up. Like, these guys can run. Well, no, no. See, no, nobody, in this case, nobody can run up and, and stop me from shooting. Yes. You might be able to back up a few people. <laughs> but, um, and my assumption is, is that this will cause you to feed. Yes. It will definitely bait the feeder. Yeah.
Uh, Sloan is going to cast uh, Refuge on... Actually, does she need to cast Refuge? I don't know why she put it on this turn. Is it an upkeep? Uh, so actually, no. What we'll do is we'll do Return Fire. What is the range on Return Fire? Is range 6, so she can get that guy and that guy. These will be my Return Fire tokens. Okay. Just in case the Guardian does, for some reason, figure out how to shoot me, and that spends a couple of my focus. As long as they're 15 away, I think you should I think fine. I should be fine, but I should also just get into the habit of it. Yeah, like, I mean, it's not a bad habit, but there is no way that I can think of that I can shoot you this turn. <laughs> Jason has uh, reached home and is making fun of us on the stream. Like, you guys are noobs? Uh... He's not wrong, ha ha ha. Lovers in a dangerous time. I assume he's talking about Ion and Holt, but I could be wrong. Yes, put them all behind the forest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Just means you can't shoot me for a turn. I yeah, can run fair. through a wall, right? But I That's can't, correct. Can't, Just can't no charge. combat actions. Yeah. No charges, no slams, that kind of thing. Um, they won't need stealth this round. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just have the image in my, we won't need stealth this round, drift AOE, dead. Do you have an AOE? No. I was going to say, like, you don't have an AOE. So. No, but that, that, those are the last words of yeah. every Ion and Holt player. They won't need stealth this turn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sudden death. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they, and let's group them all together in a nice yeah, little pocket. That way the blast, when I shoot at the... Oh, strange ways, sorry. When I shoot at the Def 5 thing, uh, and I drift, because you can't target it. <laughs> all right. There you go, G. Kill all the things. Uh, I don't know if I can do that. Let us... Well, um, nobody needs anything this turn that won't be a feat, so uh, we're just going to get some running out of the way. This nice gentleman is going to run 10. This nice gentleman is going to run 10. And you are all single shot, not, a uh, not AoEs, right? Correct. Two shots on the chargers. Yeah, no, no, but what I mean is um, I don't give a shit about grouping up because... If you are getting that far, then, like, I mean, you're going to shoot them anyway. You're not going to need to knock over all my own models because precision. So he'll run out five, run over five. middle. Uh, I should have said they're getting resonance from this nice gentleman. Mm -hmm. and we'll just run up to there. We'll just run up to there. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You're going to get the hill bonus. Um, let's see. Hakar is going to run uh, five to the corner of the building. And then three up around it. Is he a beast or a... He is a solo. Solo. He has 10 boxes. Mm -hmm. um, he is right now uh, 18... Or he's base 18 armor. He has one soul. Taking him up to 19. Okay. So when you half it, it'll half 18, then add mm -hmm. it. Yeah, it'll be 10. Yeah. Well, hopefully with feed... <laughs> 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 um, I can't imagine a world in which I screw up and don't feed but in such a world oh we'll, <laughs> i'll remind you that if, if that is your plan is to feed this turn yes well with your guys that close and with me having to scream across the battlefield here to even be relevant next turn mm -hmm. um i cannot imagine a world in which that is not my um that is not my plan
you have to go around this goddamn beast. So two to there. Uh, he another. had a pretty clear. Oh, uh, yeah. If you're doing that way. over to there. And then I knock over the beast anyway. God damn it. I'm going to have to do with what I did with my um, Kador, which is put uh, metal washers on the bottom of everything <laughs> so that the plastic things don't all fall over. Um, Ancestral Guardian will just, or uh, Supreme Guardian will just walk his five in behind these guys. Uh, Mr. Shield Guard. So, if they want to shoot Zal, he has to flame. Okay, so yeah, this guy can just move up. Uh, he's actually might have to take a Shield Guard for the living guy, so he'll move up to there. Uh, this Ancestral Guardian will run his eight. He still has his, and he still has his soul. Don't worry, guys, you'll get more real soon. Uh, this guy is going to force for gnawing pain. Um, and then he's going to walk up, I think. Speed six on those little guys. Yeah, speed five on those little guys. Oh, that still lets him walk up. So he'll walk up. So there's a eight inch bubble, just so you have an idea. You have to get past the objective to go into that minus two uh, strength bubble. Okay. Uh, I'll need that in just a second. Uh, over here, let's just get these guys uh, running screaming. So he'll move to there. He'll move to there. Do you want a nine inch? Just uh, nope, because I've now moved the two front guys as far as they can possibly go. So as long as everybody stays behind them, nobody will have moved more than their normal distance. It makes it very easy to move large armies. And his soul, um, Mr. Shieldguard, will he'll have to run. So he'll run behind the house. And he'll get a fury. Uh, the ancestral guardian. Hmm. Is he going to have to get the extra speed? He's going to have to get the extra speed. So he's going to spend his and then run 10 instead of 8. Because he needs to be able to hit both of these units with resonance. Is he an attachment or a solo? He's a solo. Okay. Uh, the attachments are these two. Okay. Um, so Zal has his walk all planned out. Oh, uh, this nice gentleman needs to go. He will force, he'll do his animus for two, which mm -hmm. is force aura. Mm -hmm. And then he'll move up onto the hill. That's plus two defense. Uh, the hill is plus two defense, and his for his force aura is plus two armor. defense and armor Kay. against ranged attacks mm -hmm. specifically. So he's got both of those guys in, and then uh, Zal wants to do this ahead of time. No, he's got more than enough that can shoot my caster with just a few movements. So. He's going to spend two to vision himself. Which does what? Uh, vision, it allows you to drop a single attack. Um, so uh, when you're shot, uh, vision can expire mm -hmm. to make that damage roll gotcha. not happen. And you get to, it's not your first one, you can do it to any you shot? You can do it to any shot. Cool. So I can wait for something that matters. And you're um, going to feed? Uh, not sure whether I'm going to um, I just need to check whether it's a pulse or a... Gotcha. Like, whether I have to move up first. Either way, I'll let you Yeah, I'm going to feet at some point. Um, While within? Currently in. So it doesn't matter when I feet. Yeah. So I can feet now. And then I can wander up behind here. Get around the 
This is nice, gentlemen. There we go. And I need to drop some fury. Uh, so that's going to be two there. So two. Oh, those are yours. So one, two, three, four, five, six. If I need to, I can sue. I better leave two on myself. Maybe somebody goes nuts. Let one of these little guys go nuts if I need to. So I will hold on to two with my feet. Uh, I use that soul. Um, and so this little guy will get gnawing pain and then run. He'll, he'll run up to there. So gnawing pain is at any time, but I have to force. And you feed it. Yeah, Kay. that's what the feet took mm -hmm. for. Um, and that is everybody. Okay. Ten minute turn one. Pretty good. <laughs> Not really. That should have been about seven. So this is cool. Um, basically, I had like two choices. I either hope you feet turn one, and this allows me. I'm probably still going to try to snipe out your solos is probably what I'm going to try to do. Um, the ones that will give you a couple of souls but won't um, give vengeance to your whole army mm -hmm. and then just get out of the threat range, okay. which is my hope. But um, Wouldn't that be seeding? It w it, I'm going to have to try to stop you from grabbing control points as best I can. So uh. part of that will be using this forest to do that, which was um, one of the slight advantages to this side. Um, be aware that Zal does have mage sight. That d that's okay, because you still have to be able to charge through the force. It do oh, you can give them. I but either way, um, I can, I can get I can get out I can get out of 11 inches and contest this zone. Mm -hmm. um, I should be able to get out of 11 inches and contest this zone, at least out of 11 inches of the entire army. And this zone should be no problem. Uh, remember, you're not 11. You're 13. You are 11. With the, with the assumption, or 14 with the assumption you're that 11. you kill something. You're 11. No, no, 14. Your army can charge 14? If you kill something and it, they get vengeance. Not the whole army gets... The, the whole army doesn't get vengeance for killing no, one No, no, no. That's why I'm saying I'm going to snipe out your solos. Oh, okay. Which won't matter because you won't get vengeance. Um, unless you have some other shenanigan that gives you vengeance. Um, um, the This guy will get righteous vengeance if you kill him. Okay, so you he is out yeah. of your feet... But it looks like everybody else is in. Uh, Maybe not that guy. Yeah, it doesn't look like that guy and that guy. So, all right. So this guy will gain righteous vengeance? Yes. My caster will as well. Be interesting. But I'm not sure I would use righteous vengeance mm -hmm. on my caster. Yeah. <laughs> seems like a trap. <laughs> it kind of seems like a trap. Um. Okay. So. Oh, my God. Pseudobite. <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> um, we will grab a focus from the squire. It's okay. Use all your willpower to ignore it. Um. So you pulled from the squire? Yep. Figure I may as well. <laughs> you don't plan on this landing l lasting longer than four turns anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I I am so out of practice, G. I don't expect this game to go well. Um, you keep saying that, but I have you made keep not being dead. Well, <laughs> it's only turn one. <laughs> it's turn two now. Turn turn two, correct? Um, okay, so let me put out a die to help you remember. The only this guy is going to be defense ridiculous behind the building. This guy is going to be re defense ridiculous behind the building um, but we may as well give it a try um, so Sloane's going to go she's going to cast I want to make sure do I need to hand out any focus um, let's give might as well give him the, the charger uh, the charger is actually probably not going to get any shots this round well he's got a rate of fire too um, oh do you, like you're just planning on not shooting with him okay mm -hmm. Because I'm going to need to back up with him, with both of them. 
Uh, run it away, eh? You yellow yeah, bastards. You got it. Um, Come back here and take what's coming to you. I feel like chicken tonight. <laughs> okay, we're going to give it to these hunters. So the armor on this guy's native armor is what? Native armor on a ancestral guardian is 18. So it goes down to nine. So plus six is plus seven to a nine. So he's going to be arm 18 on. Or sorry, he's going to be arm 16. So I'm going to be dice off 10. Uh, yeah, well I guess. Who we'll did no damage? Who, uh, like, I mean, from an average standpoint, that's no damage to a boosted shot. Uh, average should be 10 on yeah. that. So Dice minus 10 means nothing on average. Well, we got to give it a try. Yeah, um, well, I'm not saying don't do it. All you have to do is spike by one or two to do some real damage. Yeah. And we just got to hope that we could kill somebody. So, okay. Um, and Strange Ways will go first. He's just going to back up behind this wall. Um These two guys are going to go. So you're not allocating anything else? No, I've okay, allocated cool. my focus. Uh, uh, Kane, want to allocate any? Uh, no. Okay. Okay, uh, Chicky Poo's going to go. Sloan. Sloan's going to go. <laughs> She's going to cast her range bonus spell. It's giving plus two to my army. Yes, but it got the will seal of approval. Um, Nelson's complaining about the amount of line of sight blocking terrain. That's good. It's fine. At least it's not a giant forest. I have giant forests. We can swap it out if you want. Um, <laughs> so she goes up to a range 16. So she can shoot from there, but she's going to need... Oh, that's right. She's got like a 20 friggin'... She's focused, what, six? Yeah, plus, plus two, two for Squire. So she's got a 28-inch well. range on that le long leash. So, oh, All right. Oh. <laughs> so, I was um, like, no. Control range, only only 14. Okay. Well, she may as well try to take a shot at that guy. Okay. Um, so she'll boost a hit. Is she standing still? Yes, she's standing still, taking her up to uh, 10. Yep. So and four to hit. Uh, even behind with your plus four for being behind that building? I'm down with to ten. Oh, okay, so you Well, sorry, six to hit because of the Crayo aura. Hits. Um, oh, I should have boosted the damage. That would have been a better idea than boosting the hit. I didn't even think of that. So, Ancestral Guardian, does she have snipe? Or uh, not snipe? She's got POW-12. So, uh, oh, it's, so it's just, just a POW-12 weapon yeah. master? Um, so uh, he is arm 18 plus the feet for... Arm 23 plus 2 from the Kraya for arm 25. Okay, arm 25, so dice off 12. No damage. That took a really long time for you to figure out that. I'm going to go over to clock. I was, <laughs> try, I was trying to get all of the bonuses. I know, I know. Um, so this guy's going to go here. He's going to shoot at Hakar. Hakar. Okay. Um, we will boost hit. Hakar. Really screwed up by not boosting. So Hakar is a defense what? 10. Okay, so I am a 7. Three to hit. Hits. Hit. Uh, so half your armor. Uh, he is base arm 18. So, so it goes down goes to a nine. nine uh, plus one for the soul that's on him. Okay. Goes to a ten. Okay. Ten. So I'm a six. So dice off four. Yep. Boosting the damage. <sighs> Two damaged. That's not really what I wanted. This guy's going to go. Same deal. You don't want to shoot at this guy? Hits. <laughs> no. And I'll boost the damage. Dice minus four. That's a bit better. So six, seven, eight. Eight damage. That's uh, exactly enough to kill. Perfect. Uh, Soul will go to this gentleman because uh, Zal can't uh, direct it. And he's the closest soul picker-upper, unless you've got somebody closer. I don't think so. Get engaged. Oh. Is it going to be a long engagement? Oh, probably. So 
16 range, but we need to be out of Let's go all with that guy. So uh, we'll try to hit that guy with this um, hunter. He's base 16. Yep. Okay. So um, I will need a or, sorry. He's nine def, to hit. He's def 16 right now. Uh, that is that's eight. an eight. So it's seven. Yeah. It's I don't think I've ever actually had an army just run away from me before. And uh, we're gonna stealth. Yep. And is he gonna move up? No. See the sacrificial lamb? No. He's going to go here. We need him exactly at 12, right? You should drop a stick. He goes to 14. Oh. Because of the Oh, you've got two. fire group up? Yeah. Is there a token for fire group somewhere? Ah, uh, yes, it's this one. Oh. I was wondering. <laughs> I thought that jack had a spell on it. That's why I was asking. No, it's... That's actually on Sloan. Got Sloan. it. Good, Actu good. He goes to 16. That needs to be out 12. I may end up losing my line of sight here. But we'll give it a try. You want to shoot at? Same dude. Uh, that Ancestral Guardian? Yep. So I need a 9 to hit. Right, you're a 16? Yep. That's a hit? Yep. Uh, so you're a 18, I'm a 6. Uh, armor 25. Sorry, you're a 25. I'm a. Uh, I'm oh, oh, this guy has armor piercing. Yes. So he is a base ancestral guardian. It's a base 18, so it goes down to nine. Yep. Uh, and then five for the feet and two for the crab. Yeah. So it's 15. So and I'm six, so I need anything over nine does damage to him. That is minus nine. Yep. Uh, so that is uh, five, six, seven damage. So he's got uh, three left. Okay. And Minuteman. Uh, Minuteman. Do they have like a four inch gun or something? Uh, yeah, but it goes up to six with. Uh, <laughs> with fire group. With fire group. So he's just going to spend his one and leap over there. Okay. And that's, um, that's everybody. Cool. That was much less damage than I thought I was going to take. All right. No vengeance for me, but not really expected on this turn. Um, so this should be relatively quick. Uh, this unit's going to run. Oh, wait. I should do Fury. And I'd like you to use a stick, just because this is going to matter. Um, I am going to have to... See if this guy goes nuts. Because I can only pull back seven. So agonizer is threshold eight. He goes nuts. He cannot actually hurt the thing in front of him. Bonk. <laughs> Even with boosted damage, his PS eight claws oh, are not. I, I do screwed it. up. You actually have a fourteen inch threat with running. Because you move eight, you get plus two, and then you have a two-inch reach on your swords. Yes. Ah, so I totally screwed this up. I needed to move back farther. Oh, well. I was sure I said that, didn't I? No, their speed four goes we up. We talked 12 inches. We said 12 over and over. So Their uh, speed four. Yeah. Goes to eight, eight, ten plus. Okay, no, I got it right. So it was twelve inches, not yeah. fourteen. I was like, wait, I don't know where I got fourteen. All yeah, of a neither do I. That. I think you took the twelve and then added two. To I it. think that's exactly what I did. Because so you need it was a not gonna do. so you need a ten inch stick for all your runs. Oh yeah, we were talking about twelve, so I immediately grabbed a twelve. There's a ten. Um, so for some reason, this one guy is facing his troops. He's like, okay, guys, <laughs> yeah, <you're> come right. <laughs> on. <laughs> going the wrong way. Okay, so Zal turns that one uh, focus into a fury. Yep. Or that one soul into a fury. Or the soul into a fury. 
That was his free one. Oh, uh, actually, he wouldn't have been able to get that one. He didn't. I only killed one guy. That, that was the one. Oh, that he, the one that he had for this free. Is this Got is it. Yeah. my turn, too. Gotcha. This is the first time he's been able to use that soul. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. So. Actually, you would have been able to use it. Turn. Oh, no, because uh, you no, get it. He gets it at one. Uh, gold one is there. Measure for oh, this you're guy. giving them the Pathfinder? They, no. Are you giving them the? Um, uh, he gets resonance automatically. No, no, no. I mean, it, uh, if he's handing out the ability to go incorporeal to go through the forest, is my question. Oh, he is not. Okay. Uh, so that's why I needed the tape measure. Hmm. So it's seven to there. Mm -hmm. uh, leaves me with three left, so I got an inch and a half in. So basically, his base size. I only get guys from this unit. I'm really surprised you fell back like that. Well, it was either that or taking alpha. To, I sh hardly shoot anything because your armors are ridiculously high, and d and uh, that really hurts the hunters. Because it's a straight plus six, plus eight bonus, you're, or plus seven bonus you're adding to a lot of your shit. Uh, it's only things within three inches of him. Yeah, yeah. Like no, no. Time. But it's still plus five. It, that so makes it a there. lot harder to do damage to you. And then seven to there. So I end up giving you a bunch of souls, giving you vengeance, and then uh, taking it in the fucking face, which runs to there. didn't really want. So that's that unit. This guy's going to give up his soul because he feels like he's going to have extra to speed himself up so he can run his 10. Uh, green unit's going to go. They're also going to get a press forward. They do not have a relay. These guys are going to have to go around to things. So that's five to there. Another four to there. This guy actually can go pretty straight. So he can go to there. Uh, let's just get in behind here. Okay. Oh, you didn't get moved. You go to here? Yeah. Which way, which way, which way? Let's go. Sloan is on that side, so I guess we go that way. So he's going to run 10. I wonder if I can fit in between those two. Nope. So he will run up to here. Um, uh, this nice gentleman will get a fury and run, or he'll, I will force him to run. He'll run up to there. Mm -hmm. Agonizer will gnawing pain and then run. And he'll get up in between them to there. My intention is those two are in base to base. Mm -hmm. Uh, Monsieur Crea. Monsieur Crea is just going to move up and two for Force Aura. And 
running time over here. Hey, let's engage a Minuteman. Yeah, it was either that or C to point to you, so. Okay, everybody is facing the right direction. I suddenly remembered that other guy that was facing the wrong way. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. can all boost you guys can all boost so those guys will have to go to their UA if they die hmm Mr. Shield Guard what are you going to do? I think you're actually just going to hang out there Mr. Agonizer where am I going to get a Melee attack. Nowhere useful. We'll hold on to him. He'll just do gnawing pain. Okay. And I have two, four, five, six out. So Zal is going to drop to two, I think. Uh, no, he's going to two for vision on the big guy. And two for uh, aura of power on himself. And he'll drop two, leaving him on two. Because of the soul. And that's it. Over All to right. You. It's going to be interesting. So there's two problems here. One, I can. You've left it in actually pretty good positions where I can actually take out whole units, which is great. Um, if I focus down this unit, the red unit, yeah, you don't, you won't get a lot of souls, which is nice. Um, this one you will, I'm going to have to deal with some stuff, so I'm going to have to give you some souls, but the hope is, well, you have to deal with some stuff because yeah. you're going to either have to give me control points or yep. get your caster charge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So no control points for you this round? Nope. Um, I'm going to has all of them if you let me next round. <laughs> well, that's I can only get four, though. Totally not in my plan. And yes, we're going to grab another focus from the square. So that's round two focus from the square. Yep, just one left for next round. Yep. Um, the only person that is engaged is the one guy that loves being engaged. Oh, nope, you've engaged this one, too. Oh, cool. So we'll have to we'll have to snipe him out. Or strange ways can try to... <laughs> Voltaic gauntlet him? Yeah, wouldn't that be awesome? Actually, it would. It never works out that way, though. Um, I don't know. It's definitely feet turn. I feel better about that uh, that turn time wise. Yeah, it was really good. You did a great job on that one. It um, helps not having to make any attacks. Everybody's got <laughs> focus. Okay, Sloan is not going to need any for herself. Well, she'll need one focus for herself. So let's hand out to everybody who needs it. Um, everybody's def ten, right? Uh, Eleven. Eleven. Unless close to a Kraya. Uh, big guys are deaf 10, little guys are deaf 11. The Supreme Guardian might be even bigger, uh, or even lower, sorry. Uh, Supreme Guardian is uh, no, deaf 8, so 10 with the Krayor. But he's behind a building still. No, no, the Supreme Guardian. The oh. Big guy. oh, right. Big guy's deaf 8, not uh, 10, but he's got the Kraya behind yeah. him, so... His aura goes, the Kraya aura bops him up to 10. Uh, 
Huh, I think we'll do that. We'll see how this goes. I feel like uh, you've seeded too much board. No, no. I, I think like I can just walk forward. I just need to clear a lot of stuff mm. um, to do that. Um, so we'll start with the Minuteman, who is not engaged there. So he is going to. He's just engaged with two guys. Yeah. So the question is, is if he moves up to engage those two guys. He's going to engage three guys. <laughs> yeah. And that's not as good. Um, okay. Well, he's just going to have to move up and see how many dudes he takes out with his. So he's going to touch two for the power. Touch two. Elves. Yep. Um, so he spends his focus to do, does it cost a focus or does he just get I to think that just might be his star action. I don't think it's a star action. Flak field. This model can use flak field once it's per turn at any time during its activation. Okay. So Not he a doesn't star. need a focus. Okay. So, um, he will flak field. Uh, mm -hmm. so it is a power 12. Uh, I should have feed it for, I should have gone with Sloan and feed it first, but life will go on. Um, uh, they're 17, so dice minus 5. Dice minus 5. Nope. Nope. And the second guy, well, yeah, one yep. damage. One damage. Um, and he will I'll just... give it to the Ancestral he'll use his the Supreme Guardian. He'll use his open fists. Um, he is a 6. Can't he use his gun in melee? Oh, he is a gunfighter. It, it's the jack that loves being engaged. Yeah. I assumed his gun worked in melee. Um, but he won't be able to shoot this guy anyway. So because I'll be out of range, and I'll only have point five with gunfighter. I should have moved over a bit more. All right. So punchy or gunfighter? Uh, we'll do gunfighter roll. Cool. Hits. Yep. Um, pow fourteen. So dice uh, minus three. Dead. Uh, Supreme Guardian will get that one. Okay. Um who's next? Uh caster so you can feed. Yes, the caster is going to go. <laughs> I can do Kane cuz yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter with Kane, but everybody else um, caster should feed. Caster might want to just stand still and feed. Or are you going after that that supreme guardian yeah, or so that uh it's in within 16. So um she will feed. So, yep. Um and um she will shoot that supreme guardian def 16 or do i shoot the big guy and maybe do a shit ton of damage to your shield guard big guy is def 10 yeah uh little guy is def 16 with the cover and the crit she's pretty good at shooting she's she is like she could totally hit that guy yeah how the question is is whether the supreme guardian seems more important to me so she'll shoot the Supreme Guardian. Okay. She's the only one that could have shot that dude in the back, but she'll shoot the Supreme Guardian. I feel like the Supreme Guardian needs to die. So he's a 10. The Supreme Guardian is So a anything 10. but dub ones. Hits. So um, I will shield guard to that nice gentleman. Okay. Uh, so. The Brute is a 18 with his shield. So dice off four. Uh, the Whoa. brute. The brute takes twelve to the four. Twelve to the four. Uh, you took out his green, whatever green is. Spirit. Okay. Um, she'll take her second shot at mm -hmm. the big guy. Mm -hmm. Anything but hits. Yep. Um, do you have something shield guarded to? Nope. Kay. Uh, arm uh, nineteen plus two, so twenty-one. Okay. So she dice off six, and we will boost it. Um, so that is, uh, six, so seven, eight, nine, to ten to the six. To the six. Uh, he doesn't have a six. Sorry, damage. ten. Battle engine. Ten damage. Okay. That went pretty good, I think, for her. Because you would have shield guarded it anyway. So. Let's work on this unit over here. So this one guy is engaged. 
this guy is not engaged, this guy is engaged. Um, I really don't know what to do. This is overwhelming to me. Uh, this whole game is overwhelming to me lately. Just start at an end, work your way through. <laughs> so, are we within 16? Oh, that guy's engaged, so we need to clear that. Um, Strange ways. Let's see what strange ways can do. We'll take gauntlet. I want to say range six spray. Yep. Might be range eight spray. He could break cover and do it probably. He can just walk across and then. The question is whether he hits gauntlet. and actually kills your arm. What on that guy? Seventeen base. It's dice minus seven. That is not great. No. But I feel like he, if he does do some stuff, it'll be. It'll be if great. He, if he does it, it's great. Um, he can only move five, and then the spray. Do you have a spray template? Uh, yeah. One sec. I'll think about other things. Spray six, right? Eight. Eight. Yeah, if he attacks that guy, he's not going to get anybody else. See, I got things that can hit that dude. Because even with all that, those guys are going to be really good. Okay. Um, it's going to be tough. Okay. So what we'll do is we're going to activate Strange Ways. Mm -hmm. um, I thought Strange Oh, he gives evasive action now. That would have been pretty good. Okay. I don't know. Fuck. This game is overwhelming to me. Uh, Strange Ways will go. He's going to... Okay, let's focus over here with Kane. Let's see what Kane can do as far as clearing this shit out. Okay. Um, so he's going to shoot this dude okay. who's engaged. Yep. So he goes to, let's see, this is where I screw this all up. So I'm a 15. Dude. So I'm a nine because I'm standing still. I'm going to boost to hit. So I need a six. Mm -hmm. That's a hit. Hits. Arm 17. And that was awesome. How many times did I do that? <laughs> um, arm 17. Yep. And a 10 or a I'm a yeah, it's a pow 10. We will Dice boost. Dice minus 7. Boost. Let's kill. Yep. I'll promote back here so hopefully he doesn't die later on this turn. And I will give that soul to Zal. Okay. Um, Kane will shoot this guy. Mm -hmm. He is not engaged. Death 10. Or def 11, sorry. Little guys are def 11. So anything but, that's a hit. Yep, dice minus 7. Boost. Oh, I should be doing one of my attacks. That would have been really great. You have... Um, Thunderbolt. Can I uh, do the trick shot on that guy so we just get an extra... It, it probably won't crack armor. Yeah, sure. Um, so that was a 7. Yep. Yep, it cracks armor. So, um, so it's pow 10 again. Um, dice minus seven. Dice minus seven, so that does one point yeah, of damage. Which so guy this, want to this guy. That guy? Okay. Yep. Okay, Kane will. Give the soul to Zal. Kane will shoot this guy. Yep. Does he have a line of sight? I don't know if I do. To who? Yeah, I have. The leader? Th this guy. That guy? Uh, yeah. Yay. Looks like I do. Uh, it looks like I do. Like it's uh, a freckle of a hair, but. Stronger laser uh, on both bases. Yeah, 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 it looks okay. like you got All it. All right. So, Kane will boost to hit the second shot. Yep. Um, so, I need sixes to hit. Hits. Yep. Um, pow 10 on him. Base minus seven. Five, six, seven. It's not going to do it. And the Thunderbolt into the leader. No. Nope. Trick shot on leader. Thunderbolt knocks. Sorry. Trick shot on leader. Uh, need eights to kill. That's kill on the leader. 
I just, I just promoted him. So I, I know it's super that. annoying. Um, we will do Ace. Ace is going to do Soul to. I might as well do it all. Ace will sh do trick shot into that guy. Mm -hmm. What's his? Oh, he is a uh, 14, I think. Okay, so Ace. Uh, yeah, is 14. Ace is a 7, so I need 7s. I'm boosting. Oh, he's standing still. 7, 8, 9, so I need 5. That's a hit. Yeah, that's definitely a hit. And arm 13. Arm 13. Does he still have armor pen? Like no, he does not have boxes? armor pen penetration. He has a POW 12. So okay. um, how many boxes? That's minus one. Uh, five boxes. Uh, that'll do it. Ooh. Yep, that'll do it. Okay. And we'll um, bounce it into that guy. You get trick shot on all your shots? Uh, he does get it. Well, they, they get to call it. You okay. have to decide what your shot's going to be, um, which is why I screwed Dice up. minus seven? Yep. Oh, no, five. Dice minus five. Uh -huh. Well, I rolled a five just because for you. Because his gun is 12 instead of 10. Rolled a five just for you, sir. Okay, so let's do all the guys that can shoot twice. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Okay, so um, we're going to shoot your big dude. Mm -hmm. um, we'll stand still with that guy. Yep. He'll shoot the big dude. It's a pow. Uh, sorry, it's a you're a 10, so I think I need anything but because I'm a 7. You're standing still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hits. Yep. Um, half your armor is 8 plus 2 goes up to 11. Yep. So we'll dice boost minus it. Dice 5, right? Uh, yes, he's a 6. So dice minus 5. So it's five. 5. Second shot. Hits. Dice minus 5. Ooh, that's pretty good. Just, uh, just a second. I need to need to check something. Okay, I'm going to go over to your clock because yep. I'm burning clock like crazy with this uh, one. Okay, it's when hit. So I do not want to take damage from that hit and vision expires. Okay. So uh, From the hit that I just did yeah. and rolled? The damage for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, uh, that's why I was asking you to stop because I wanted to check on what when, when, when vision triggered. Okay. Um, so the next guy will go. Yep. He's going to... Anything Shoot but at hits. the same guy. Yep. Okay. Boost the damage. Yep. Dice minus five, five. So that's three more. Three more. Second attack. Yep. Hits. Dice minus five. Uh, so that is three more damage. Three more. The chargers. Chargers are gonna go. Um. Chargers will. They both have three. You filled them up. Yeah. Nice. So chargers are going to. This one's going to try to finish clearing that unit. He's going to have to move, right? No, he's got 14 inch range. He can hit everybody but those two guys in the back line. Yeah, so he won't finish the unit. But. So we haven't killed any green yet, have we? We've just killed blues? Yeah, you have not killed... You've only triggered vengeance on the blue unit. Okay, we're gonna... He's gonna fire at the big guy. Okay. Um, so we're good to go. He's gonna boost and boost on the first shot. Yep. Oh, look, hits. he hits. Surprise. Uh, uh, so... Pow 12, uh, 21. So uh, dice minus... Nine. nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Five more damage. Five more damage. Second attack. Three dice to hit, assuming you're burning. Yep. Hits. hits. Dice minus nine. Nothing. Nothing. Last shot on him or somebody else? Uh, we're going to try to take out that back line guy. Mm -hmm. I, I hit. keep forgetting about the repo that I have. And oh, I didn't, even repo? didn't fucking use it. Um, so 12, 0, 16. 18? Uh, 17. 17. Dice minus 5? That's 5. Fuck. Holy shit. Yeah, dude. this is how games go for me. Um, so, um... You one more in that blue unit, it looks like, if you shoot from him. Uh, I can move. Oh, yeah, duh. Uh, they're pretty fast, too, aren't they? Speed 6? Yep, they are speed 6. 
Yeah, just don't engage yourself. Yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> trying not to do. Oh, nice. You can get in without being engaged. Yeah. So uh, we'll do the first boost on this guy. Yep. Hits. Hit. Surprise, surprise. Dice minus five. Dead. That one finally kills something. Second guy. Uh, Zal will take it. Hits. Kills. Oh, Third guy. Zal will take it. Oh, wait. I want to just one second. Are you shooting at that goddamn leader again so I have to move him around? I'm going to shoot at this guy. Oh, oh okay. wait. He's engaging. Yeah, so he's going to be higher. So either of these two guys then. Uh, so that hits. And death. Dead. Who's that? The leader. God damn it. You just like making me move the leader around, don't you? Yep, sure do. <laughs> uh, um, this guy's gonna go. <laughs> I think I've totally lost this game. I think we probably should have just gone for the assassination. I thought you were going to every turn. That's why my caster's hiding behind a hill. Well, I can't. Uh, that's the thing. Like behind, behind the, house. the house with all the shield guards, I couldn't. I couldn't go for assassination. I couldn't really go for assassination. Um, this guy's going to try to shoot that guy because we need to clear him. This guy's oh shooting at the oh, engaging guy. Yeah. See, so three inch move. So vengeance is you get a three inch, inch move and an attack. attack. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna need to clear. There's less than three inches here, so I'll still be able to see those guys. So, all right, we'll start clearing these guys here in okay, red unit. Okay, so the engaged guy is fifth death fifteen. So I go up to an eight. So I need a uh, uh, seven. A seven, yeah, on seven. three dice. That's Four, yeah, that's, that's no problem. Uh, arm 17, dice minus 5. Dead. Dead. Second guy. Um, his soul goes to his UA. Uh, second guy's not engaged. I'm nope. an 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Is that a hit? Uh, they, yeah, he's an 11. Okay. And dice minus 5. Dead. dead. Uh, his UA is full. And so I won't be able it. to see the third guy through that forest, I don't think. Which is probably the guy that will matter for the vengeance. Because that's the guy that's going to get the three inches and the hit. Um, so let's continue killing red guys then. We'll take out that guy. Okay. So this will be the last shot. Um, that's a hit. Uh, yeah, 13, yeah. And... That's minus five. Dead. Dead. And that guy is within Zal's range, so Zal will take it. All right. Um, so that's a trigger of vengeance on the red unit. Yep, there's not a lot I can do about that, unfortunately. Um, so this hunter is going to move up to here and shoot at the big guy. Um, so Death I don't ten. need don't need to boost a hit. Um, so I need anything but Hit. hits. No really problem. wish that was going to be the damage. So 19, so it goes down to 10 plus Oof. 2. Dice minus plus. 5. We've done this a few times. <laughs> it's dice minus five. <laughs> That's better. Ooh, 12, Twelve damage. Uh, I think that kills him. Yep. Sweet. Um, and we'll shoot the leader model or the. We'll sh this guy will. Sh I oh, I get a second shot. Yep. Uh, he'll he has sh a soul. He'll shoot at he the big. Does not have a soul. He'll shoot the big guy. Mm -hmm. Um, your defense eleven still. Uh, I think he might be ten. Uh, yes, he is ten. That's a hit. Yep. Um, half your armor. Half armor on him is nine. So dice minus three. Um, he is five damage. I think he took damage already, did he not? Uh, no, that was this guy. That was that guy. I probably should have taken another pot shot at that guy. Just I, for I think you would have killed him if you had taken a pot shot because Sloan doesn't miss. No. <laughs> I forgot that he only had like one box left. Uh, three, but yeah. He's pretty low. Um, okay, so we'll shoot uh, this guy to start with the last. This guy here? Yeah, no, this guy. Uh, the front guy, okay. This guy's going to be a pain in the ass. That's going to be the vengeance move of doom. All right, so hits. Yep. Uh, half your armor. Uh, 
uh, they're 17. So, so it goes to an 8? Eight. 8, yeah. So dice minus 2? Yeah. Oh, minus, no, I'll hold on to the boost. Dead. Yep. And he'll shoot the the big guy. Uh, that'll go to his UA. His Anything UA but full. hits. And um, dice minus, what was his armor? 18? Uh, 17. 17, so he's in, so dice Eight. minus 2. Yeah, dice minus 2. Dead. Yeah. Uh, that was this guy? No, that was this guy. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, he fi uh, takes five damage and dies. Okay, sweet. His soul will go to Zal. Um, I should have used Strange Ways for something other than what I'm about to use Strange Ways for, which is... <laughs> about to spray that mostly probably will bounce. Are you sure? Oh, sorry. I believe it would be a bad idea to make a pow ten spray through that because you might trigger vengeance on the green unit. Ah, you are correct. <laughs> I'm not trying to say don't make attacks on my guys, but don't make attacks on I those particular guys. I can't ignore the forest, but I can... As long as you have some kind of line of sight, your spray will ignore the forest. Okay. So as long as you can see your target, anything that blocks line of sight blocks a spray. Well, if I just tag that one dude... Yeah, if you get inch, just within the eight... All right, so he's just going to move up and... Just ta to tag that guy? Tag the one guy, make sure I don't hit any of my own stuff. Should be fine. Uh, Def 11, even Strange Ways Even Strange Ways can hit. Too bad he can't give himself the focus. Yeah, eh? I know, to boost. That would be amazing. Um, okay, so POW 10. Yep. And you're at 18? 17. 17. I need eights to kill. Mm -hmm. That Five, is... Six, seven, eight. Eight. Yay! That'll do. That was that guy. Sweet. Um, and Zal will take his soul. Okay, and you're not going to get recursion, which is kind of nice. Um, so, oh, I should have kissed that fucking unit. That would have been a really good idea. I don't think you would need it. Like, uh, well, she'll try to kiss that. Unit of red, anyway. May as well. Okay. Dire 11. Oh, I forgot. Strangers had repo. I keep forgetting that. Doesn't everybody have repo? She gets them, so now they're kissed. So they're going to take plus two damage. We'll do first shot into that guy. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's let... Let's let the dude with... not That's not quite as good do the first shot. Uh, Murdoch is a six. Mm -hmm. He'll shoot this guy. Yep. Needs a four, five. Five. Gets Hits. it. Um, he has pow ten. Uh, dice minus seven. Uh, minus or plus two, so I go up to oh. a twelve. So dice minus five. Dice minus five. And rolling a two will not do it. Nope, almost never. Okay, so um, this guy'll go for it. Yep. Hits. Um, so he's a twelve. Oh. So it goes to a 14. Dice minus three. Dice minus three. That'll do one. Yep. So that's this one. This guy. And he'll shoot the second one back there. Hits. Zal will take it. And does one damage. On this guy? Yep. Okay. Um, and Zal gets one. Okay. That's it. Woohoo. Oh my god, I have so much fury. Um, you sure do. So. So go for the caster kill. Because she's right there, and so, you'll get to boost everything. Uh, we'll start with Vengeance. So these two feel pretty obvious. I'm just going to walk forward. And they'll both take their strikes. Uh, what's the defense on Minuteman? 12, I want to say? Minuteman is 14. 14. So sevens to hit. Uh, that's a hit. And um, he, they're uh, 13. 16, mm. dice Kay. minus 3. He's a 15. 15, dice minus 2. Um, so 5, 6, 7 to the 2. Okay. Second guy uh, hits with a 7 exactly. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> Fuck you. 7's <laughs> supposed to be hard to get, bitch. Uh, dice minus 2, 5 to the 1. Their vengeance expires. Green didn't get vengeance. Red. Um, this guy will move up his 3 and not get an attack. And I think both of these guys will not get an attack as well. And this guy will move into the forest. And vengeance expires. All right, fury. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yay, I can count. Mm. 
and then it gets silly. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. has some fury. Mm-hmm. Like 20 of them. Going to be doing lots of boosted attack rolls. Um, I'll spend one to upkeep our aura of power. Mm-hmm. <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise. Yep. All right. So you guys got to get out of the way. Zal runs and camps 8,000. Uh, shield guards move in for Zal. Okay, so we'll... And then your dudes charge. Yep. And I play, how many dudes can you get on a small base? Because <laughs> <laughs> they can all boost to hit. Mm -hmm. What's her defense 16. against melee? 16. 16? Pretty They're good. base 7, so... You're going to need 9s to hit. You're going to need 9s. 50% of them should get it. Yep. And she's and got no focus. And no focus? Yep. Okay. Yeah, my plan was originally to move this charger to here, and then I didn't. So uh, um, okay, that explains. I really that. screwed I that up. I wondered why you had left. I the charge line. I completely screwed up. Oh. Uh, th this game is over because of that dumbass <laughs> move. Okay, so, so um, unless you would like to let me move that model, <laughs> uh, well, I'd like to try it because it's definitely not certain okay, that that will it. happen. Yep, because I think it's certain with you boosted you think charges. So? Yeah. Because if you get two hits on her, she's she's paced. She's only arm fourteen, mm. so. But go well, for it. We'll definitely try it. I think. Uh, okay, so. Um, I think yeah, Zal just runs really, so that he can get within fourteen of your caster. Yeah, he just runs around the house. It's kind of all or nothing. I get shot to death if this doesn't work. So, uh, Zal will run. Um, so this is all Zal's. Um, let's make sure I don't get it mixed up. Uh, this nice gentleman will step forward and, uh, to for his Force Aura. This guy will walk over here, ride the shield guard. This guy will come up here and gnawing pain. Why didn't I move that jack? Why, George? Why? Other shield card will run over to here. This, I, this is the problem with not playing as often, as I'm just making really dumb mistakes like that. Um, but it's okay. It's all fun. Yeah. Let's try. Let's do the outliers first. So, yeah. Um, uh, the red unit is going to go. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to charge, get a run charge order. Mm -hmm. um, he is just going to... Oh, he might be able to make it through the forest. Uh, back of his base, it's going to cost him three inches to get through the forest. So six. So that's six. Um, he is actually faster than his friends. He is speed six. So six, seven, eight, nine. So I have three inches on the other side of the forest. That'll be enough to get him over here with his POW nine. It's going to be amazing. Does anybody point out something I'm doing wrong? Oh, no, no. They're just saying... So oh. instead, there's like there's really no way unless you roll trip ones on every attack. <laughs> uh, he'll charge him. Um, these guys will charge him. I don't think they're going to be able to boost, so they're going to need their three inches. So he'll charge over to here. Make sure he stays within his two. And. He can charge to there. So red unit, um, sevens to hit. Charger's a 12, I assume. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, so no, charger's a 13. 13, so sixes to hit. That's a hit with the first immortal, POW 13. Oh, sorry, it's a hunter. He's a 14. That's uh, no, a that's a charger. Oh, you're attacking this guy. Yeah. Sorry, Thir uh, that's number three. Uh, charger, POW Kay. 13. Si arm 16, so dice, dice minus, minus three. three. Wow. No damage. No damage. That's four ones. Nice. That was pretty fantastically bad. Mm -hmm. 
Stoller Advocate is going to use his uh, POW-9 to get the job done. He's going to miss. He's a uh, Matt 5. Well, he'll be the only one that misses, though. So, <laughs> so uh, sevens on the other one. Yep. Uh, four six on the first guy, miss. Second guy hits with a seven. Mm -hmm. uh, POW-13. Uh, that is on a hunter who is an arm 15. 15, dice minus two. Um, so... 11, so 9 to the 1. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. So, blue unit. Yep. Uh, they're going to stand still. Yep. They're going to boost a hit. Mm-hmm. First one hits. Boost damage. Pow 13. Dice minus 2, right? Uh, arm 15. Yeah. So, yep. dice, dice minus, minus 2. two. Uh, so 11 to the four. Okay. Second guy boost a hit. He's still alive. Hits. Yep. Um, One boost point of damage. damage is all you need to do. Dead. Yay, I get his own. Um, so I guess it's time for the green unit. Yep. All the... See if you can kill Sloan, and if you do kill Sloan, we can either reset it where <laughs> that <minute, laughs> where that that charger is where he's supposed to be, or we can. Uh, well, it depends on how quick you want to get home. Oh, that's a matter. question. Well, we're pretty early on in the game, so. Not really. Go for it. We've just got, go for the. We've go done for the it. We're more than an hour and a bit in. Mm -hmm. This game's more than half over. Um, the, the least interesting game of let Sloan just waffle in the wind. <laughs> so they're going to get resonance from him. Uh, so that means they're s effectively six, seven, eight, nine. So they've got nine inches to work with. The question is, is really how many? You can get them all there, but you're going to have to figure out what you can jam. I can't get them all there. I, I can get probably six. The question is... How many can I get in? So I can charge there. So this guy will be the farthest charge. He has to still have line of sight. So he should be able to charge to there. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little farther back. Yep, that should be fine. And then face boost loan. Uh Next guy should go as far as he can on the other side. So he can cuddle up to that. Gotta be charger. careful because you will take an attack of opportunity if you pass. So you'll need him to be. Uh, you might inch. be able to do it like there. One inch? No. Yep. It's just if you're cuddling in here, which yeah. is where you had put yourself. Yeah, I think I'll just cuddle to there. Okay, you're good there. Yep. Uh, and then. I think he'll be the one who doesn't pass the the mark. So he'll charge to there. So he has not to take the free strike. Yep. He's still well within. So he'll charge to there, not blocking that guy's line of sight. And I think I get, what, two more? Probably. You're on a small base. Might only be able to get one more. Yeah, I'd probably only get one more. So we'll make the leader do it. All right, so you're going to get five attacks. Move yep. the rest of that those dudes just to put them wherever you're going to put them. Um, so those, that guy can get there. That guy can get there. So he'll charge this guy. Charge this guy. He'll charge that guy. Try and charge that guy. I don't know if he made it. Yeah, one more green and dude. And the last guy will charge the objective. Run. Yeah, charge the objective. Why not? All right, let's just okay, let's just get this yeah, Sloan Sloan over with. So you need nines on three dice. You've got five shots at it. One, two, three, four, five boosts to hit. Because I assume I'm going to need them all. So. <coughs> So first one we need I need nines, right? Yep. Nope. Six. 
Second one. There you uh, go. That'll do. That's a hit. Arm 14. Uh, it's automatically boosted because of the charge. Mm -hmm. Arm 14. Oh, wow. The dice minus one. I hadn't realized it was that low. Uh, no, that's why it's pretty much nine, 10. 10 damage. It's the only way that this happens is if the next three somehow miss or you waffle rolls real bad. That's uh, a hit. That's a hit. And automatically boost damage. Yep. Dice minus one. That okay. kills. Yep, that's a kill. <laughs> so do we want to just push this back? These guys would end up working on this guy instead. Okay. Do sure. you want to just do that? Yeah. Does that work for you? Yeah. Well, it because that on. just because that is what I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna lose the game though. <laughs> you think so? Yes, because my caster's now swinging in the breeze. Oh, so move. Uh, I guess we can't really reset it then. That was yeah, because that was I like, have to move my. Yeah, caster we would have had to do this when when I realized that I had not moved that jack when I was supposed to. Yeah, um, like the. It's I, just a stupid. It was a stupid error. On I my didn't part. realize that. I thought you you felt that you had to get rid of something, and I personally thought you were gonna. You, the thing you had to get rid of was that green unit. You're like your caster was out. In the I open. but the reality was I was going to take out the blue and the red, which stopped you from scoring points, mm -hmm. and then I was going to let you beat the crap out of these three jacks. That was what I was going to let happen. Oh, okay. And then once that's done, then I t then I turn around and and finish the game.